guys, welcome back to our second episode of Space Academy. I am Captain Cosmo. I hope you really enjoyed our last episode and you can remember the story of Daniel and his friends refusing to eat the king's food but only living on fruit, vegetables and water. We're going to bring you the next instalment of that story today. But first, I wanted to share with you a fun fact about space. Have you ever wondered where astronauts sleep? There's not enough room on board a spacecraft for them to have a bed. So, often they sleep stood upright, but they're in sleeping bags that have to be attached to a wall so they don't float around and bump each other. Isn't that cool? We're going to tell you the story slightly differently this week. Um, one of our friends and colleagues, Jules, has drawn a load of pictures to help explain the story a little bit more. Um, and it's all about sleeping and dreams. So have a listen to this next part of the story of Daniel. A long time ago, in the time of the Old Testament, before Jesus came on the earth, there was a very powerful king called Nebuchadnezzar, but we'll call him King Neb. One morning, King Neb woke with a start. He'd had such a weird dream that it seemed as if he was on another planet. The king was so worried by his terrible dream that he couldn't get back to sleep again. It was all so real and so weird. What could it mean? King Neb called in all his counsellors, advisers, magicians and wise men and said, I'm worried about a dream I've had and I want to know what it means. Anyway, the counsellors, advisers, magicians and wise men said to him, tell us your dream and we will explain it to you. But the king said, no, I've made up my mind. If you don't tell me both the dream and its meaning, you will be chopped into pieces and your houses will be torn down. However, if you do tell me both the dream and its meaning, you will be greatly rewarded and highly honoured. The counsellors, advisers, magicians and wise men said to him, tell us your dream and we will explain it to you. But the king said, no. Tell me the dream and that will prove that you can interpret it. But how could they possibly know that? The counsellors, advisers, magicians and wise men said, No one can do this apart from the gods and they don't live among human beings. When the king heard that his counsellors, advisers, magicians and wise men wouldn't do what he asked, he was furious. So the king issued the order to kill all his counsellors, advisers, magicians and wise men. And even though they were not there at the time, this included Daniel and his friends. The first that Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego knew about any of this was when the king's official came to fetch them to be killed. Daniel asked him, why did the king give such cruel orders? Arioch explained what had happened and Daniel rushed off to the king. Give me more time and I'll explain your dream, he promised. The king agreed and Daniel went home and told his friends what had happened. Then he said, pray that God will explain this mystery so that we and the others won't be put to death. That same night, God showed Daniel the answer to the mystery. Wow, take me to the king, Daniel told Arioch. I will tell him the dream. So he did. The king was amazed. Daniel got everything exactly right. It was all about a giant statue. This was the dream, said Daniel. Now I will tell your majesty what it means. A smile began to grow over the king's face as Daniel explained about him being the head of gold, ruling over the greatest empire of all. Daniel explained that the silver body and the arms meant another empire would come after this king and not be as great as his. The bronze waist meant that there would be a third empire which would rule over the whole earth. 
Finally, there would be a strong fourth empire that would be divided up and weakened like iron and clay would be. During this time, a new kingdom would be set up that would never end. The great God is telling your majesty what will happen in the future, said Daniel. After this, King Neb bowed down and ordered all offerings to be made to Daniel. He gave him a high position, saying, Your God is the greatest of all gods, the Lord over kings. So Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego were saved from death. But will they be able to stand up to the challenge? What other tests of courage, faith and being different will they have to face? Find out more next week in the next episode of the story of Daniel. Wasn't that story amazing? Can you imagine the trust that Daniel had to have in God and how powerful God must have been to be able to help Daniel interpret the king's dream? Have you ever had a dream? Either something that's really funny or something that's really weird. Often our dreams can't be explained um, and we can remember them for days afterwards. Perhaps if you have a dream over this next week or the next few weeks, you could write it down when you wake up in the morning and maybe create a really exciting story based on the thoughts that have happened in your dreams. Also in the story of Daniel today, we heard a little bit about the statue in the king's dream and what each part of that statue represented. So we thought that you could perhaps make a statue out of some building material that you could find in your house, whether that be Lego or Jenga or paper or junk modelling. Um, we thought that maybe you could have a go at that and send us some pictures. If you can't remember what all of the bits of the statue were, there will be a download available on our website as well um, with a little picture to just say what each of the, the different parts represent. So we hope that that helps you out too. We also have another craft idea this week and that is to create this beautiful rainbow tissue paper star and Lynn my other colleague has um, done a video for you so that you can see exactly how it's made we just thought that obviously given the space theme a star would be perfect this also fits in with dreams we think very much about stars when we think about nighttime and when we go to sleep um, but also, obviously, loads of people are putting really gorgeous rainbows in their windows at the moment to cheer people up. And so we thought this could be another way of just demonstrating that. So if you head over to our website again, um, you can find the video there of Lynn showing you how to make one of these beautiful stars. Again, if you want to join in with any of our action songs again this week, there's a couple of new ones on the website for you to enjoy, as well as uh, episode two's uh, worksheet for you to print off and be able to do at home. Let's pray together to finish this week. Lord, we thank you that you know the plans that you have for us. Thank you that we can put our trust in you and thank you that you are so powerful that you can help us even when stuff gets really difficult. Be with us this week. In Jesus' name, Amen. I hope you've enjoyed this next episode and you can have a little bit of a think about this story of Daniel. We'd love to hear some of your stories of the dreams that you've written, and we'd love to see some of the pictures of you guys making some stars and any other space-themed things you can think of. We hope you have a really great week and that you tune in again next week to hear part three of this amazing story in Daniel. Bye.